11 investigators are digging deeper into the gunman's past. Who is the man that had the eyes of the feds? All right, Jim Kirshner is here now with what he has uncovered. So this is a, I know, an, an ongoing investigation, but boy, what a day, what a, what a weekend. And we are learning more about this gunman. They're called lone wolves. They act alone. They're filled with hate. And oftentimes, people close to them know it. This was a sick person that was really confused and went crazy. She married Omar Mateen in 2008, but left him within months. She says he was filled with hate against gays and against her. His body was just totally opposite, you know, angered and emotional and violent. And that later evolved to abuse. Mateen was born in New York and moved to Florida with his Afghan immigrant parents. He worked the last nine years in security, including at a gated community, the PGA Village in Port St. Lucie, Florida. He would hit things and, 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 and as he was hitting things he would yell and, and of course there was always curse words involved in that. And this wasn't seldom, it was almost all the time and a bigot to almost every class of person. Mateen bought an assault rifle used in the shooting just earlier this month. He was able to because he had no criminal record. But he was investigated twice and interviewed three times by the FBI in 2013 and 2014. No further action was taken. Mateen remarried and now has a three-year-old son. Everybody close to him will be interviewed by investigators. I'm blessed to have the family that I do because they saved me from, from death. Now, one of the reasons why the FBI investigated Mateen is he told co-workers at a courthouse where he worked security that he was tied to Al-Qaeda and Hezbollah, but he explained that away to the feds, saying those co-workers were teasing him for being a Muslim. I can tell you that was a deep investigation. They had him under surveillance for as many as 10 months, but then that new marriage and baby were a strong indication he was not a threat. Well, I, I heard his father speaking on national television today and saying that they didn't know. I don't know how they could know, especially with that, what that man just said about him being so violent and so angry all the time. That's a father. That's close family. You got to look at it that way. Certainly a miscalculation. Indeed. Jim, Jim thank you. Right.